Hey everyone, David here. I've been breaking glass and plotting and trying to figure out what I want. I'm staring at my new um, my new goat container. I swear they look sad. You think they look sad? I think they look sad. No more jumping. No more getting into places they're not supposed to get. No more ramming wolves. It's really quite funny to watch some ram wolves. I'll probably free, free them later. And the foxes seem to have just gone. Maybe I'll make more foxes and put them in, in there instead. Because goats really need to be free. Anyway, back to the aquarium. Um, in the video, in the whichever video, I think it was video two, there was a, a bit where <clears throat> this tank with the rat with the glowing skitties at squiddies in them skitties was all the tinted glass and it was sealed up and goodness it was pretty like from this angle as an angle with air not water all the way down it just looked really pretty so <clears throat> I had this idea at least at the beginning that we could have a path this bit represents a path so you come through the tunnel and there's a path that goes past the squiddy tank the whole way through the squiddy tank all the way around and then we get to see all the squids, the glow squids. Okay. And then in the middle, some kind of smaller tank inside of a bigger sort of area with rocks and stuff. And a platform, the, the path being a raised above any access to the oxalotls other than for feeding. I've still got to figure out how to do that. So there'll probably also be a path that goes through the middle. That's not really the middle, but... So I've only got kind of half of an idea. The reason why I'm starting episode 3 with only half an idea is because it will probably entertain you to watch me try and figure out how to cut this path with all the oxalotls swimming about. I shall probably swear quite a bit and it might make a very interesting video. Uh, replay video, I mean, to sped up video part. Not a bit when, we when I'm talking about it. So the plan is I just need to outline where the actual tank will be. I'm thinking here. So we have like a the oxalol tank kind of be hard up against this path. So you're going past and you're seeing the actual um tank part. So it goes the whole way along this bit. And I thought maybe the ends and the front can be a grotto. So maybe it goes here-ish. Um, so this bit can be a, a, an open air bit where you can feed the, feed the oxal bottles. Maybe. The same can oh. keep hearing this jingling noise. I think it's a squid. Bro. 
brilliant. Back to what I was thinking. I'm getting distracted. So, I don't know. This much can be the tech. Mm. should have done it in um, another colour. But... So you come in through the tunnel, there's a walkway, just the clear white glass, and then in here there can be a, an area where the oxalotls can come out of the tank onto, I don't know, a garden -y with colours and stuff. And then there's an actual tank, and the squiddies are on the side. And you could walk. And the squiddies on this side, and oxalotls on this side. Listen to the noises. And go back upstairs. Might be a good plan. Um, I should also mention that what I've already done uh, wasn't actually finished. It was just the outline. I always do an outline first. As you can see, how are you doing that? Um, I always do an outline first, and then I do the decoration because I don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of time on decoration and then change it. It's, it's really annoying. Um, so this wouldn't, this wouldn't have been all the walls. I would have put, um, you know, variable level uh, on the ground and colour like in here. Probably not steps, but sandy and um, stony and colourful. So yeah, uh, that, that wouldn't, this wouldn't, if I'd have chosen this, I wouldn't have, there would still be a third video and it would be me showing all the decoration and some of my ideas and stuff. Um, the actual finished product. This is not, this is just a mock-up. Well, a modifiable mock-up. Um, I may have to put a fence along that line so the, so the turtles don't go down that thing. Ah, it's good to too. Okay. Um, so this is the idea that I have. And stage one is the hard part. It's clearing out the areas underneath there for the paths and for the grotto. The, the bits that will be have water in them but not all the way to the ceiling. I am also contemplating um, making these well at least this long bit at the back so you're in the on the bottom and you've got squids on this side and you've got oxalotls on this side and that there's a tunnel that goes over your head and above your head will be either squiddies or oxalotls or sunlight because I really do like the look of sunlight on this stuff. It looked really lovely with the, the purpley and full of squid glowing squids inside and it just looked really lovely in the video. Um, 
Um, so yeah, problem one, evacuating safely the oxalotls from the space that needs to be made out of air and not water. So, wish me luck and cue the music. I did a bit of this is for the uh, the oxalotl zoo exhibit I did a lot of off-camera decoration I just I thought candles look kind of cool and added you know, in there added a lot of uh, coral and these things are sea cucumbers and they they're a source of light Stinky, yep. <clears throat> Done it to both sides as you can see through the glass, although there could be more in there.
and there wasn't really enough room for more sea kitties so this is a little a little water a little tiny tropical fish tank and because they keep despawning I've called them all stinky um, so they've got lots of decoration and I made these things and it's actually more fun if I use one of these uh, this this one really close to the glass oh. hopefully you'll be able to see fish and then you spam it and see if you can see the cartilage yep pop and most of them are dead already See, they're very cute, the sea kitties. They really are very cute, but they're kind of evil too. Hence why they're called eat sea kitties. Because all kitties are, you know, even just a little bit evil. Um, the other thing is, no matter what I do, the glow squid squids keep despawning. Even when I label them. So, I made a dispenser, I think it's dispenser. Yeah, dispenser. I made dispensers that spawn glow squiddies. And this one is really fun. If you spam it, that wee! <laughs> Looks really cool. Um, and as per request, this is a tag called Patrick. I've probably spelled it wrong, but that's okay. So when I get bored, I go in there, I spill my, spawn a bunch of them, and label them all Patrick. So all of the squiddies are called Patrick from, uh, you know, Spongebob. So there's feeding thingies here. I'm not sure if that's as, oops, as easy, let's see inside of the dispenser, as easy as the other one. The eating begins. This one does it too. If you spam them, they, they all spawn in one place and then they go pop and they spread out really quickly. And then they get murdered. It's kind of cool though. So there's sp spawners here that throw fish in and they get eated. Oop, yeah. See, they explode and become these floating orange thingies. <clears throat> but there's, you know, two dispensers there, two dispensers there, dispenser on the other side, and three dispensers here. <laughs> so so there's, there's epic levels of, of feeding. Yeah. And more squiddy. This one doesn't do cool things quite as much although that's still pretty neat I also um, I also put in an, uh, a lift and because we don't really have elevators in Minecraft not ones you can do a lift with um, redstone contraptions but um, I kind of suck at redstone contractions. I can just never get them to work. So I use these things, just scaffolding, but the reason why they're an elevator is you just press one button, you go up or down, just go into it and it goes up, and then you're up, up at the top. Put that in to keep the uh, turtles from coming down the steps. But the uh, the elevator is just because I wouldn't be able to get up and down those steps if this was I was in this world. So it, there's only one because there isn't really anywhere else to go. But the entire underwater aquarium area is is all flat except for the steps. 
so you couldn't go up those sort of nowhere way of putting a like an elevator at this end but it's okay so <clears throat> I have come to the conclusion that I will try very very hard never ever to do a video with water filming in the water both this way like using the screen capture program or on the re replay mod with the um, you know with the music was a pain it was a total pain in the ass it was really hard to frame anything in the water I had to go underneath or above it was just this last one, the first part of the the replay montage, I actually did three times. I attempted three times to get the path, the camera path right, and it still don't like it. So lesson learned: water bad. Um, <clears throat> I'm also going from this point in time to try and plan my builds that go on this channel a bit more because it was because I didn't do it in a sort of system systematic way with the buildings what I do is the, the face first and then the sides and the backs and then on the inside I do the you know the floors and then the ceiling so it's a um, it's a camera path that you can follow because I'm staying on one side and you know this one I had to kind of loop back and forth and loop back and forth because there were so many things I wanted to do and then I'd get an idea for something else and it was it was I just I need to plan things a bit better instead of just going sort of going with the flow means it's probably less fun for me like in the creation process but it's it's it'll look better for you guys um, but on the whole I'm actually happy with what I did considering um, considering I didn't have a plan just a general idea and it only took it was the second redo um, for it to properly get a bit more like what I wanted I'd probably in real life this would need to be bigger like longer this way so you go here and you walk maybe twice the distance and see more more fishies more sea kitties but the sea kitties have a lot of space now so that's good um, and lots and lots of food um, so I'm actually quite happy with this I'll probably fiddle a bit more and like make this area a little nicer and um, finish the the rest of the, the aquarium on the side so I got bored with coral when I was doing it so I started trying to do coral through here just so you can see the coral up up the up the walls and then I got bored and didn't do the rest So that looks really dull. <laughs> it's funny, those fish don't despawn. I'm not entirely sure why. So there are bits that need to be fixed, and I'll probably fiddle with the actual um, the Oxalotl Aquarium. I may or may not make this roof the uh, the tinted glass as well. I may actually turn the whole thing into tinted glass. When I originally did it, there was no tinted glass. It was even before the coral, but um, I added the coral later. So this is really new. But I really do like, I like how the tinted glass looks. Tinted glass is made by adding a glass with uh, amethyst crystal. And it really, you could really see the amethyst crystal. <laughs> it's like shading. This is without 
any shading mods, any renders, render programs, whatever you call them. I originally planned for this particular level to be like, I don't know if that's this, the, uh, with no mods, it used to be called vanilla, vanilla Minecraft. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's dodgy now, but um, I always originally wanted to have this level done brick by brick, block by block, without any mods, with, without anything like that. I, I compromised with the replay mod because I can't share the game if I can't do a montage. Um, so I don't have any shaders or anything and I still think that looks really cool. I bet a shader will make it even look, look even more cooler, but that's okay. I hear shaders slow your computer down ridiculously. So, I really... I really like this. I think it's very cool. It's very... Not quite what I wanted, like what I originally intended. But I think it looks quite neat. Oop! Peekaboo. Mm -hmm. And, um... If this was you know, a real zoo, a real aquarium, I think this could be. I'd love to go to a place like this, although I'd have to use the elevator. <laughs> There's no way I can get my walking frame down those steps. So, that shall be it. I hope it was fun to watch my creation of an oxalotl uh, area in the zoo. The oxalotls sure enjoyed it. They get lots and lots of fishies. But until next time, Aranitasa.